Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Solace Player Home which is being made by user Mojo Main. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, a new player home for you to enjoy right in the heart of the downtown area and it is a pretty nice place. Now basically the mod maker has taken an existing building in the world and created a full interior cell for it for you to use as a player home and it's quite cozy on the inside. I do really like it and I feel that uh, it's appropriately a bit creepy with Halloween right around the corner because that just makes it all the more fun. Now like I said it is in the downtown area and as you can see by Mass Fusion ominously appearing up from the back of it, it is near Mass Fusion. In fact, it is between the Mass Fusion building and the vault Tech Regional HQ. Now, when you install the mod, you will get this lovely little marker on the map to tell you exactly where Solace is. And, of course, you can fast travel to the marker and, when inside, can fast travel back out to the world, which is always quite convenient to be able to fast track from an interior, or fast travel, rather, from an interior cell. So, let's uh, jump around Right on into our new home here. Now I should mention I don't have a companion with me because the interior is not nav meshed so it's not really meant for your companions. So uh, keep that in mind. And overall it is just a pre-made home for you to go in to enjoy. And as such, it's a lot of, you know, the usual things we see of pre-decorated sets of things that you can't grab. Now, interestingly, all throughout the house on its four different levels that we have, all the Nuka-Cola seems to be, you know, takeable, which is interesting. Not much else is, but the Nuka-Cola all does seem to be. And I don't know, I like that, I like that. But as you can see, we come in on the first floor into a very nicely Halloween decorated floor. I really couldn't think of another word to go there. And it is a general kitchen area with some seating available to you. A lovely little <laughs> chess game going on here with some bourbon and vodka, etc. Always entertaining. And a nice ottoman and this artistic masterpiece. <laughs> I don't know why, but this thing really amuses me, this little uh, sculpture of beer bottles and bottle caps. And you may also notice the teddy bear here. Keep your eye out. There's a lot more of them in this place. Mod Maker's got a weird thing for teddy bears, I think. But yes, a just nice little room overall. A few places, uh, such as the fridge for storage. But for the most part, uh, this first lower floor in the entrance way is really just all decoration, not much else. Now, when you move into the back room, oh, that all changes. We have a lovely little ammo crate here. Actually, quite a large ammo crate. Some lockers for you to store stuff in. Safes trunks, more ammo boxes, and more additional lockers, all with loads of different potential for storage, which is always nice to have. We also have a lovely painting, and more importantly, the stairs to the next three levels, and all the creepy, creepy teddy bears. Seriously, I don't, I don't know what's with the mod maker on that, but it's, it's um, kind of creeps me out. Kind of creeps me out. <laughs> But again, that's why I like it. Appropriately creepy for Halloween. But yeah, just a nice little sort of uh, just storage area before you leave the home, which is quite good. So let's move up to the next floor where we have some actually harvestable glowing fungus for you to grab. And some creepy, creepy, really creepy mannequins. And another, who is clearly Satan. <laughs> And basically, uh, the first of your bedrooms. And again, just a nice little area with collectible Nuka-Colas, a lot of just, you know, pre-decorated sets of things. Um, but yeah, you know, just a you know, nice chair, nice jukebox. We do have, of course, the beds here, a safe for you to use, dressers, which are always good, and interestingly, also some gold coins you can loot, and a gold bar. Because who doesn't like gold? It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. But for the most part, as with the other areas, things that you can't really interact with, just purely here for decoration. And so many teddy bears. 
in the back room, though, we have a, well, you know, laundry room with a washer dryer, and then a uh, nice little end table here for you to store things in, and then just again, more decorative items and creepy teddy bears, but you do also have your bathroom with toilet, sink, teddy bear hiding behind the drapes, and a shower, which doesn't work, but you know, it's a shower, and that's, that's, that's a good thing, question mark? And then moving on to the next floor, we have, well, the cannon. Good times. And then kind of a, a display room of sorts where we have some display cases with different objects in them, including nice old tablets, etc. Once more, nothing you can really interact with here, but it does look good. And then we have our crafting room, where we have a chemistry station, weapons and armor workbench, as well as some various things for storage, such as barrels, ammo boxes, this trunk here, and this ammo crate right here. Very nice to have all the various things you need to make your stuff. And then moving on to the final floor and another creepy satanic goat thing and weird, weird paintings. We got light bulbs on that guy's eyes and coins on this one's eyes. It's um terrifying. And this is the main bedroom and quite frankly, the most gorgeous part of the home. I love it the most. It is just simply a just beautiful bed for posts. Got the drapery, got the great ceiling up there with the chandelier and just all the just all the great stuff in here. It is by far my favorite room in the whole house. More Nuka-Cola to grab, various different seats, a usable bed, desk for things to be stored in, and interestingly, some magazines there for you to read if you'd like to have a gander at new hairstyles, and then over here, bookshelves with chargers decorative, an end table, which for storage, and a decorative hot bath. Very nice, with of course a fresh ice cold Nuka-Cola Quantum for you to enjoy. And that... That is really it for this mod. It is the Solace Player Home. A very, very cool little house. I do very much like it, especially, as I've said several times now, this top floor, it is just simply gorgeous. The other floors are still nice, and of course you've got plenty of weird, weird creepy things. And with it being close to Halloween, that is always cool. Now, I currently don't have it with Workshop enabled, but if you want to have this player home and still be able to mess around with things in the Workshop mode, there is a config file, I, I think it's a DLL file actually, that comes with the mod that you can just, you know, pop into the folder and it will turn this into a usable Workshop area for you to customize it to your own level liking, which I think would be most interesting on this floor purely so you can actually put some more things in these display cases than what it currently has. But all in all, it's a fun little house with a lot of fun, creepy things, and just is a nice looking place even on its own, untouched by your own hands in the workshop. So if you'd like to give this a go for yourself, which I would definitely recommend you do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is gonna be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching watching, and as always, have a good one. I'm going to take all these Nuka-Colas and have a party. Later, folks!